Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, you've not heard that for a while, have you? I apologise for doing a bit of a disappearing act, but I am back, and we are now looking at this, the Huawei Mate 9. I will shoot a video in a week or so, or whenever it will be, an update as to what's gone on with me, um, why I've not been on YouTube. If you've been following me on Twitter, or if you've been speaking to me, then you know what's happening, but if you're not, then, you know, you probably don't have a clue. You're thinking, okay, is, is Sam, is he dead? <laughs> Has he been kidnapped by aliens? I have not. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to come into that in a future video. Today, here's a look at this bad boy. Yes, the Huawei Mate 9. Now, this is a bit of a fake unboxing because I actually did open this uh, about a month ago. Yeah, shh, didn't hear that. And we're going to unbox it for you today because I like to show you guys the, what you get inside the packet. And I'll give you a bit of an impression to what I think of it now, and then expect the future review, the full review, not too long. Yeah. So, should we get into it? Yeah, why not? So, as you can see here, it's got the Huawei Mate 9 at the front. we then got the Leica dual camera. <laughs> Advice here, the camera is fantastic. So, going around it, it's got your Huawei logo there. And then jumping onto the back of it, we've just got printed with soy ink, uh, made in China, Huawei technologies, blah, 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 blah. All that kind of mumfo bumfo stuff. To be fair, you don't really care about or need to know. Let's open it up though. Da, da, da. Yes, there she is. Now look, I've even put the plastic back on for you. You know, that's just how nice I am. <laughs> Take it out there and we'll put that to one side. And then let's see what else get inside this box. So you can see here, it says Huawei Design. Very nice, cool, funky looking uh, Huawei Design logo there. Nice bit of quality, bit of higher cardboard there, you know. As you know, I like a good, unbo a good unboxing experience. And I've been a bit sick recently, that's why I've not shot this video before now as well. Hmm. Anyway, in here, we're gonna get some information, the SIM card ejector and the little case. So the SIM, jacked, SIM card ejector, if I can get my bloody words out, is just here on the back. Jumping into here, you get your documentation, or as my mate Flossy Carter would say, your use all books and shit. We don't need to have a look at that. And you get this nice little uh, plastic protector for the back. I've actually been using this with the, with my phone, so it has actually got a little a couple of scratches here or there. Again, I will stick those off to the side as well. And here we have it. Here we're going to have our charging brick. And our micro USB, which is not micro USB, it's USB Type C, because yeah, I'm sick again. And here's the supercharger. Now, where I'm currently am, I can't use this, so it's a bit of a pain in the bum. But I do use an adapter, and I recommend if you get this phone and you get this kind of adapter, you should get the one for your country. But if you end up getting importing one somewhere, use this with an adapter. Trust me, it is insanely fast. And on this side. We have our USB Type C. As you can see, as again, you know, I wrapped it up, but uh, I couldn't burn the plastic. <laughs> and then we have the little purpley one. So look, they even sent me my own custom purple charger. I mean, how cool is that? You know, thanks, Huawei. Yeah, I, I know it wasn't, <laughs> but yeah, it is pretty cool. And then last but not least, you also get some headphones. So very much like the Apple EarPod kind of designy kind of ones. Um, I've not tested them yet. If you want me to test them for the full review, let me know in the comment down below. Now you also do get a micro USB to USB type C adapter, which I've actually got in my little headphone bag that I use for work. So it's not here right now, but you do get that inside the box as well. So you can use old cables and don't have to worry about it. Let's stick all this off to the side as well. All the month for bum for because the star of the show is right here. Oh yes. Now this is the gold one. It does come in, I think, three or four different colors. The ones that I know off the top of my head are gold, silver, and like a gray kind of one. But I believe there might be like a brownie looking one as well. If you want to check it out anyway, I'll put a link down below and you can go check out all the different colors. On the back of it, again, I've stuck this on here so you can actually see it. Just shows you that you've got a dual SIM tray slot. Yeah, slot, as a, <laughs> again, my buddy Flossie would say. So you can actually have a dual SIM, or alternatively, if you would like, you can have one SIM and a micro SD card up to 200 gigabytes, which is insane. Now, running down some of the main specifications out of the box for this bad boy, it does come with 64 gig inside the box. 
you're probably not going to need a micro SD card, but if you do, you can stick it in there. You've got a 5.9 inch 1080p display. Some people might be a bit disappointed by that. Don't be. The screen is absolutely bloody de lovely. Now, I've come from an S7 Edge, which is a 2K display and a smaller display. So I'm losing resolution and I'm getting a bigger display. Honestly, it's, I can't, yeah, I mean, if you look for it and you can zoom in and try and find an individual pixel in like some kind of word processor, then yeah, you're gonna find it. But 99% of the time, you cannot tell the difference. Trust me on that one. I'm very impressed by this display. I would have liked a proper AMOLED display, but hey, hell, you can't get everything. So there is that. Now on the front of it here, you've got an eight megapixel camera, which is autofocus, which is a big thing. Not all front facing cameras have autofocus. This does. Again, not something you find on most devices. Now you also do get four gigabytes of RAM and the octa-core processor. Now it's Huawei's own and it is damn fast. So yeah, it is one hell of a, a chipset is this one inside this bad boy. You got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which just makes the battery last a guaranteed even if you're a heavy hitter, you're getting guaranteed one full day of battery. Um, most people are gonna get two days. If you're a normal user, you're probably gonna get two days of battery life, which again, you don't normally get in a lot of devices nowadays. What we'll do is we'll take that plastic off the phone just so you can get a bit of a look for it. Now, you probably see on this one, it is glossy. With a glossy one, I'll be honest with you, when I first got it, I thought, is this like another protector? And I would try to peel it off, try to find somewhere to take it off because Every video that I'd seen for this device, none of them were glossy. I'm thinking, why, why is mine glossy? Is... Then I found out that the gold, the, the gold one does come with like a glossy kind of uh, feature on the back of it. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of it. I would have preferred like a pure matte kind of satin finish. Some people like it because it can be a bit more grippy, but at the same time, it then does get fingerprints. Now, luckily, they're not that easy to see because of the colouring of the actual device. So don't worry, really worry about getting fingerprints or seeing them, should I say. You're gonna get them, it's gonna happen, but seeing them is a different matter. You will definitely not see them on this device. Now I see on the back of it here, you've got that dual camera setup and that little Leica there, the dual tone flash, which is the left hand side. And then you've got your, I think it's the laser autofocus on the right hand side. The cameras. Well, we're rocking, we're rocking a 20 megapixel black and white sensor and a 12 megapixel color sensor. Now the color sensor also comes with optical image stabilization. What does that mean? It just means that when you kind of jitter in your hands a bit, it takes some of that away. And also with regards to night photography, it can help with regards to that as well. And you're thinking, Sam, but why does it even have two cameras? What, what's the point? Well, the point for that is it gets better shadow detail and you can also do some cool like bokeh effects. Now for me personally, this phone does the best fake bokeh that any device can do. The software matching with the hardware for this one, Huawei for me personally, it's a lot more flexible and it gives you more options than any other device out there that's offering this kind of feature right now. Yeah, even the iPhone, sorry iPhone lovers, even the iPhone 7 Plus, that does like a, that zooms in and then use the other one, which is good, it is fantastic, but it is only for portrait. This. Seriously, it does it for almost everything. It is a fantastic, fantastic feature. Then you've got your fingerprint scanner. And as we all know, Huawei pretty much have the best fingerprint scanners in the market right now. I think the only one that can kind of match these from, I've not tested it personally, but it's the OnePlus 3T, which is meant to have a fantastic fingerprint scanner. But out of all the phones that I've personally tested, this is the best fingerprint scanner out of all of them. Now what we'll do is actually running around the device as well really quickly, because most people like to see this as well. So on the bottom of the device, you've got a fake speaker grill here, and then here you've got USB Type-C charging port. Here's your main speaker. There's a microphone inside this one though. Here's your actual main speaker. Going down this side, you've got your power button, and then you've got your volume up and down. So power here, volume up and down. You can just see that there. Sorry for the lighting, guys. Not the best in the world, I know. And on top of it, whoa, what's that? Whoa, what is that? That, my friends, is a infrared transmitter blaster kind of thing. So you can control any normal TV or any device that it takes an infrared um, remote control. Yes, this bad boy has that. And what, what's this? Yes, this is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So if you've got an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 7 Plus, you're thinking, what's that? That is what that is there, people. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then on this side here, you just got your SIM ejector. 
I should say your SIM tray is where you eject it here. And that's where you put your uh, two nano SIMs, or alternative one nano SIM and the micro SD card. And again, on the back of it, again, we show once more time the camera, the uh, Deuton flash, the fingerprint scanner, and so on. Now, it is all metal, apart from these strips here, I believe. These, I think, these are plastic. You can't tell on this one, though, different color, but because of the whatever kind of coating that's on there, you can actually see it. It doesn't, there's no real gap or such. It, it looks seamless. The color's different, but it doesn't actually. It, one of, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this is shiny, and so is this. Yeah, there we go. I finally got it out. <laughs> Telling you, the sickness is getting the best of me, people. And that's it. That's my unboxing and my first tour around the actual phone. Now, again, I have been using it, so I will give you a quick first impressions as well while I'm here. I bloody love this phone. Some things I get a little bit kind of, mm, it's a little bit different than what I'm used to and in terms of the software. It does come with the Huawei launcher, which you can now have an app draw. Again, I'll show you this, this software in, in, in another video, but just to tell you about it, you can have a, an actual software um, app draw. Can, again, I can't get my words out. And when you tap it, obviously it's just a normal app draw. It is cool to have that. I don't personally like Huawei's version of that. So I go back to Action Launcher and I'll show you that again in another video. If you're not using Action Launcher and you want a video on Action, Action Launcher, man, I'm telling you, I need to go to a speech therapy. Then leave me a comment down below or even better hit that like button. It is very much appreciated to tell me about that. But everything else in terms of like the notification area, etc., it is all more stock-ish. It's not stock Android, it never will be, but the multitasking is very stock. Again, the menus are very, I actually prefer the menus on the Huawei device than stock Android right now. So yeah, there is that. Anyway, people, I'm gonna get off. I wanna say thank you for watching this video. If you've got any questions with regards to it, you know what to do by now. You can hit me up in a comment down below, like I've said about five times already. If you wanna hit me up on Twitter, I'm at Sam J. Pullen. Don't forget to be on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram. You know, all the links are in the description down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're new here, then subscribe. It is free. Honestly, it doesn't cost you a penny, a nickel, or a dime. Yeah, don't know why I said both of those. Anyway, people, thanks for watching, and you'll hopefully see me, and I should sound a little better, probably speak a little better, in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.